video is a little different. I thought I would just address and reply to some comments that you guys have been commenting because I have seen a lot of like the kind of small little comments repeating itself and I just wanted to like address some other things like specifically for the royal family itself because I've already done a Q&A video but that was about me. So this is not about me, this is about the royal family. Obviously I know I could just like reply to comments and like I do for the most part, but since I'm seeing some of the same comments over and over again, I thought this video could be a good resource to just like address multiple things if you guys are curious and if you guys missed anything because not everyone looks in the comments and not everyone sees my answers to things. So I just wanted to like just go through and address multiple things. So this is a little bit different and I'm not planning on doing this like on a regular occurrence, but maybe if like every once in a while, if we need to do a video like this, then we definitely can. Before we get into the comments, I just want to mention one thing. So I noticed that a lot of people, because I do post my social media stuff on YouTube, I mean that's like definitely for you to like follow and stuff too, but I noticed that a lot of people have been private messaging me on like all of my social medias. I just want to say now the best place to reach me is probably in my comments on YouTube. I do have a Discord group for my Patreons or patrons. I mean that's only for patrons though. I Maybe I'll open one up to everyone in the future, but for now my patrons are the only ones who can message me on Discord. Just the YouTube comments are probably the best place to reach me. Um, and then maybe my Twitter messaging too. But as far as like, like I've had people private message me on Instagram and I'm not, and first of all, Instagram doesn't show you that someone has messaged you if you're not following them. So if I don't know who you are, I might not be following you. Um, so also my Instagram is also more for like my modeling and acting and like personalness. Um, I don't share anything about my Sims or YouTube channel on there. So that's, kind of been like a separate thing. You guys are so welcome to follow me on there, but just so you guys know, um, I also don't have my notifications on for Instagram, for Twitter, for anything like that. I just recently turned it on on YouTube, but sometimes there's just so many notifications that I'm not able to follow everything. Um, same thing with Pinterest. I don't check messages on Pinterest at all. I think sometimes it tells you, but not all the time. So I just I just wanna let you guys know that. Best place to reach me is probably my YouTube comments. Um, I'll try to think of a better place and then maybe on Twitter messaging, but you can always tweet at me too. So I just wanted you guys to know that. But anyway, okay, so let's get into your guys' comments. Okay, so I'm starting with the last five comments. I'm actually doing this part on my Mac and then I'm like recording myself on my my MSI computer. So this should be interesting. I haven't been on my Mac to do any of this to like screen record in a while. So this is so different for me. But yeah, so this is the last five videos. This is my most recent. And then we're just kind of going back from there. Um, I know the Royal Wizards create a sim video is not technically like part of the Royal Family series, but there were some questions in there about the Royal Family series. So I'll address it in there. So basically we're just gonna go through things. I'm probably not gonna address, I'm not going to address all the comments, but I'll address most of the comments. And then I will also answer, I will especially answer questions that I have seen multiple times. So just wanna let you guys know that. This wasn't really something, this was just about Princess Meghan. Um, some people, I had a lot of people actually say that they like Princess Meghan, they want her to be queen. So they, I said that they might go back to each other. Also, in case you guys are wondering, this video is being filmed right after my episode 92 of the Royal Family has been recorded or has been posted. I've actually already recorded episode 93 and 94, so I'm so excited for you guys to see that because they were so exciting and so much fun. Um, and so I might know some things that you guys don't, so just so you guys are aware. I'm not gonna do any spoilers, though. So yeah, they were just saying about Princess Meghan, um, so I don't really need to address that because I think we've kind of talked about that in the past. Someone asked, would you ever have a sovereign abdicate, which means that they would give up their throne? Um, Technically, King Jared did that. He gave up the title of king um, for Oasis Springs, and I felt like he did that without even knowing that he was going to become the king of Brindleton Bay. So I'm sure we'll have it in the future too. At first, I thought they meant like, would we ever have like a monarchy get thrown over and it be turned into like a democracy? And I was like, well, then that defeats the whole purpose of the royal family. But that's not what they asked. So they were just asking if we'd ever have a king or queen kind of just just say like, I don't want to be king or queen anymore for any reason. And I'm sure that would happen in the future too. Someone has asked, and I've had other people ask this too, how do we get our their portraits done? So I do that in the second episode of The Royal Family. I haven't not watched that in a while, so I'm pretty sure I cover it though. Um, basically you just do a large painting from reference, but you have to have the other sim you're getting a portrait of stand right next to them. And you have to have them either do a pose or just, you're gonna have, a, have them just freeze there and hope for the best and hope that they're looking at the camera. So I do that in the second episode of The Royal Family. Someone was saying, well, first someone asked, when is the next Dynasty episode coming? And I do have a lot of people ask that. 
but um, as I'm posting this, I, I don't actually know if I'm posting this before or after, but my next episode, or the next video I want to post, so today's, when, today's Tuesday, so tomorrow's Wednesday, so Wednesday's when I want to post the Dynasty episode. I don't know if I'm posting this video before or after the Dynasty episode, but it's next, uh, as I'm recording this. Um, also, I get a lot of people ask that. Um, I explain in the Dynasty episode why I haven't been really posting that much, so if you want to know why, or why I haven't been posting Dynasty that much, if you want to know why, watch the next episode of Dynasty. I think it's episode six that's next. Um, and then they also ask, or they were just pointing out, and I have a lot of people point this out too, like, you need to you need to change Prince, blah, 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 sorry, you need to change Prince Francisco, or Prince Francis to Francisco, or like sometimes people say you need to change like Princess Lei to Princess Leilana. So if you guys ever see that, it's just because I, I know I can change their names. It's just because I have like just changed their outfit or something. And when you exit from changing their outfit, it gives you like an error and it says you have to shorten their name. So then you have to go back and do the cheat and like say rename and then name them the longer name. So if you ever see that, it's because of that. So just so you know. So I know that I can change their names longer, but if I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna remember to do it every single time I've changed someone's outfit. So just so you guys know that. Okay, so on to the next video. Okay, so someone said if the first child of Queen Nea, so if, if Queen Nea's heir and Prince Louis' heir marry, they will unite crowns and one of the kingdoms would lose their independence, just like what happened to Castile and Aragon later became Spain. Okay, so this is a question that I've gotten multiple times. A lot of people were asking if we're gonna do an arranged marriage with now would be Prince, oh shoot, Prince Cornelius and Princess Arya, and we're not going to do that because that's that is first of all that's why I didn't have a female heir when I first started this series was because I wanted the option to be able to do that like if if, if I was still having only male heirs that I would like the option to have like Queen Arya marry Prince Cornelius um, but since we're not doing that anymore I probably won't do that because their parents wouldn't arrange a marriage for their heirs when like one of them was already supposed to be heir. But maybe we'll do that for like uh, Princess Arya. I keep seeing, I keep wanting to say Queen Nea. Um, but maybe we'll do that for P Princess Arya's sister, um, Princess Kimberly. Well, it'll probably just be younger siblings getting arranged marriage to like an heir or something, but it's not going to ever be like an heir having an arranged marriage to another heir. So just so you guys are aware of that, because I have had a lot of questions about that. I've had a few people tell me that I should name the the monarchs of Oasis Springs Sultan or Emperor. I'm just gonna stick with King for them. They, I, and I, the only reason I'm doing that is because I feel like Oasis Springs, like, yes, it has like a very different culture from everything else, but it is also kind of mixed in with a lot of other different cultures. So I'm just gonna stick with King and Queen for Oasis Springs. I have had a lot of people ask about that, but yeah, we're just gonna stick with King and Queen of Oasis Springs just because I do think they are very like, um, assimilated with the other cultures and I feel like the other cultures are assimilated with them. So it's a game. So I don't want to get too complicated and too much detail. So just so you guys know about that. Uh, so someone said um, they had an idea that since Johan and Amira will be the royals of Brindleton Bay um, and there are more of a friendship than a romance, maybe Prince James's child could be the heir, but there's drama going on with that too. Um, so I, I, first, I think no matter what, Amira and Johan are going to have kids. Either they're going to just get pregnant or we'll say that they like just, they had babies and, and it was like a scientific thing or something like that. The, another thing with this too, I, and this was a long time ago. I think it was the episode, I think it was called Three Royal Dates. I don't remember what episode it was or what number it was. Um, but if you guys remember from that, Prince James is actually gay. So we have not focused on him in a really long time. So I do need to go back with him. So I'm not even sure if he's gonna have kids. So I'll go back to him in like a future episode or so. But in case you guys were wondering about Prince James, but yeah, I think Johan and Amir are going to have kids no matter what. I of course have like a ton of baby name suggestions. Guys, I copy and paste all your baby name suggestions into a document. So just so you guys know, there are some promises that I have made in the past. I can't always keep doing promises though, just because there are so many baby names now, guys. There are so, so many. So just so you guys are aware, I don't think, like I, I will definitely try and there's gonna be so many babies. So I'll try to use everyone's as much as possible, but yeah, just so you guys know, but I, been scrolling past like so many baby names. Someone said, who are Queen Lindsay's parents? Oh shoot, I forgot to look at that. I totally forgot. Let me see if I can like go back 
to a, like a really, like a past episode and maybe find out. Okay, so I was able to find out, this is like episode 15 of the Royal Family, guys. This is so long ago. Um, so I was able to find out that uh, Lady, the, the Queen Lindsay's, I know that her father was Marquis Edison of Willow Creek. I don't, I couldn't find her mother's name. I'm sure if I could just go back to my game, then I can find out, but I don't have it pulled up on my computer. And you guys know that The Sims takes forever to load, so I'm not gonna do that. But I do know that her parents were the Marquis and Marchioness of Willow Creek. Um, so yeah, just so you guys know about that. So I'm glad I figured that out too, because I didn't know that. Oh, and then they also said that uh, Queen Lindsay should live in the Oasis Springs Palace because one, she's a queen, even if she's just the queen mother, and second, um, she is, or maybe Queen A will be occupied with her duties and she might need help with the babies in the future, which is actually a very, very good point. I didn't think about that. Um, so I'm, I'm probably going to move in, because I think with Queen Lindsay, I'm pr pretty sure everyone, like once everyone moves out, like she's, gonna be by herself. So I feel like she'd probably move in to help with the babies. Although I feel like maybe Prince Philip's mother would want to also help with the babies. And I feel like they wouldn't get along very well because Queen Lindsay is very, like, she's not very level-headed. Um, so yeah, but maybe we'll move them in in the future. Someone said you should call forth the ghost of King George to talk to Amir and Johan because they don't think that King George would let Amir suffer in that way because Amir is basically throwing away her future with someone she doesn't love. And they don't think that King George would allow that. So that maybe that they would want to talk to him and call him off. Plus Amira is supposed to be the heir anyway. So she's supposed, oh gosh, sorry, this is a long one. Um, so she's supposed to be the queen and she didn't have to marry Johan. May or Belle could have done it, but neither of them are heirs. Yes, I know May died, but Belle could have done it. Um, and then Princess Amir doesn't have to be the queen because you said she changed. That doesn't mean she might not want to be the queen anymore. Um, but basically just saying it's not fair that Amira and Johan are like arranged. Um, so in the next episode, we're actually gonna focus on them a little bit. So you guys will get to see that. So that would be episode 93 of the Royal Family um, because they are actually really good friends. So that's why I felt like they were okay with it. It's not like they hate each other. It's not like they're really sad about it. Um, they, their relationship, their friend friendship relationship relationship is actually getting really high. Um, so I will address that in the next few episodes or so, but I don't see it as that. I kind of did at first like that it wasn't fair, but the fact that their like friendship has gotten so high made me think that it would be okay now. Um, plus I don't think that, I don't know. I don't really have it so we can like talk to ghosts in this. Like I see the ghosts appear every once in a while and then we're like, oh, hey, but it's not like, actually part of the storyline usually. And then they were also saying that they don't think that Jay's parents, Helena and Michael should have a bad reputation anymore because it's been years since they had the baby and people have gotten over it. I don't know guys, people back then were like really, like if they found out that you were born out of wedlock, you would not be like, you would not have a great reputation. Um, so I kind of like the idea of thinking about that because when someone suggested it, I thought it was a really good idea. So I think I might keep that for now, but I mean, they already, they just got married. If we want Lord of Jay to be with someone, then maybe we'll like try to change it and he'll try to like change his reputation. But for now, I think we're just gonna keep this. Someone said, guess we, guess what? Soon we need another family tree video because the next generation has been bored. That is true. That will probably be true. I will probably make another royal family um, episode soon. I was actually thinking of making I, well, I was thinking of making a Q&A about the royal family, which is what this is pretty much, um, but actually warning you guys that I was gonna do a Q&A because I didn't give any warning about this one. Um, so that way, if you have comments about who's related to who, then we could do that. Or I could just do another family tree episode um, and then that would be huge. But I am going to wait. I think I'm gonna wait until most of them are done having babies because otherwise then like some of like the older kids would get to be in that video and the other ones wouldn't. So yeah, I don't know. We, we might be doing that, uh, but I will do one soon. Probably after, definitely after the 100th episode. Um, but probably, I don't know. I don't know guys, not too soon after that, but we'll do it soon, don't worry. Okay, so now to our wizards and witches royal, f oh gosh, sorry, this is spazzing out, uh, family series. <laughs> okay, so this first comment on here is my friend Michael, and I was actually over at him and my other friend Lizzie's, because they live together. Um, Lizzie and Michael's, I was at their house um, right before I posted this episode saying that everyone wanted me to do a Wizards and Witches series, but like I wasn't sure if I wanted to, and then I posted this like the next day, so he was saying like, we see, like, we see what you're doing. Yes, I caved. I also couldn't figure out like, because I, I had tech problems, so I had to like, I had to figure out a video to post and I was like, you know what? 
I'm just gonna do this this like cast video. Just to, it's not like doing a series, it's just seeing what they would look like if we did one. So yeah, that's in case you're wondering. Okay, so I did have lots and lots of people asking me about doing, and I've addressed this kind of, um, about doing a Supernaturals or Wizards and Witches royal family and doing that as a Let's Play. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll just make it a mini series because I it would kind of mess with the like environment and world that I've already created with the Royal Family series. And like, yes, I have mermaids for that, but I feel like wizards and witches are like a whole different thing. So I then I was saying maybe we just do a mini series. I'm actually kind of thinking now of just doing like, cause I want to play it cause it, it seems really interesting. And like how people do let's plays, like the first time they're playing like an expansion pack. I think we might do that, but like with a Royal Family or a, yeah, with a wizards and witches Royal Family. So that way I can experience it and you guys can experience the pack too, like with me and kind of see everything. And we would still have the Royal Family, but it wouldn't be focused on that necessarily. And then I wouldn't feel as much pressure to continue it as a series unless I want to. Just because I don't want to start a series if I'm not going to enjoy it because I feel like I've since with like the dynasty and with my legacy challenge like I love it still but I just haven't had the motivation to do it and I don't want that to happen to another series and you guys asked me to keep posting stuff about that series so I think it might just end up being like a let's play we'll definitely do one episode or two I don't know how many we'll do after that but I don't know if it's gonna be like an official mini series if I like it a lot because I just I don't know what to expect with the pack but if I end up liking it a lot then maybe we'll do something else it just won't be like a a series. I'm not gonna label it as a series now because I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. So yeah. Okay, so I had two people comment about this. They said you should give your royal titles like Ravenna the Unholy or Henry the Restorer or for example like what Alexander the Great or like Ivan the Terrible or something like that. Um, yeah, I guess we could do that. Like I think because they were saying that with with Prince Philip, uh, how he was like just a prince and not a king, um, how they were saying that, and that they, we could just give him like Prince Philip the Great or something like that. We could do that. I don't, I don't know. That doesn't really appeal to me very much. Like I don't have any interest to, to call them that. But if you guys are, are saying like someone because of their personality and you guys think that like a specific king should have, or a queen should have like one of those titles or something like that, then you guys can let me know, but that probably won't be like a main goal or focus of mine. So just want to address that. Oh, okay, so Popsicle Gaming, guys. So they asked me, they asked me on my community post when I was posting the poll, the poll about um, who your guys' favorite character in the Royal Family series was. They actually, the, in, that, in that, they had commented and asked me to give them a shout out for their um, channel. But this is Popsicle Gaming, so it looks like they have Roblox um, and, or retail tycoon um, and then they have like all this other stuff and it looks like they're gonna post some gaming stuff like sims and stuff too so giving them a shout out for sure give them a follow um, and go ahead and watch their videos and check the, out their channel so that that channel is pop school gaming that I love their icons like this cute little panda there someone said can princess may come back as a witch and have her become the queen of the witches uh, I think I had a lot of people ask me if princess may is gonna come back as a wizard or witch or like train her life or something to become like a wizard or witch I don't think we're gonna do that since princess may are Already passed away I don't think we're gonna do anything to like bring her back to life I know I mentioned that Prince Johan is like on a quest to bring her back to life and he hasn't like told anyone about that yet but I don't think it's going very well and honestly I just don't think I think it would kind of like it would ruin things I feel like like it would ruin the flow of things a little bit I love Princess May and I was really sad that she died but like I don't think she's gonna come back to life, guys. Sorry about that. But yeah, I don't think she's gonna be coming back to life. So I've had someone say I could give the royal family a wizard advisor. Can someone tell me what a wizard advisor is and what they would do? Because I don't quite understand what that means. I might have like one wizard in the royal family. I'm not leaning towards that though. I'm kind of leaning away from that. But we'll see. I don't know. I kind of I want to address things here and like finalize things, but I don't think we're going to be having any wizards in the royal family series. So I'm just gonna say that now. Um, someone or Cutie Pie said that. Uh, Hi Mira, I know that Charles and Bellatrix and Diana were born a lot earlier, but can you pretend that they are the same age as the royals' babies getting born now? I just want them to have a chance to be queen, especially for the girls. We could do that for sure. I'll, I'll probably just keep them at the age they are now, and I mean they're still welcome to marry some of the other royals. Um, because I only like just. Age, I age them up in the next few episodes. 
episodes, but I also age up the other babies in the next few episodes. So yeah, they could for sure have a chance, especially Prince Diana, because she's younger. But we could wait a little bit to age them up and stuff, but I think they were like about to age up anyway. But yeah, so we'll definitely give them a chance to become kings or queens as well. Someone said Helena and Michael could have the title of Lord and Lady Marshall. Basically means Michael controls military actions and Helena is just his wife. We could do that. I don't think Michael's ever been in the military, but I mean, we could do that. I was kind of waiting for a title to open up and I think one does open up pretty soon. So we might just do that, but for the future, if we don't have anywhere else or anywhere else to put any of the families, then we could for sure do that. Someone said, I don't think Princess Corinne can have another baby yet just because the house is full. That is true. But in the next few episodes, we do move everybody. So they are able to have more babies soon. And then I think that Prince Consort Philip should just be king because some non-royal people have been kings in the past. So, okay, let me address this because someone else said this too. In Europe, the title queen will always be less than a king due to traditions and formalities, which is the reason why the husband of a queen would never be higher than a prince or a prince consort. Otherwise, it would technically be him who ruled the country. Uh, and I agree with that. I feel like if I named someone king and queen, like to me, it just seems like the king is like the rule of everything. And that's why I liked it being like very obvious that the queen was the heir to the throne. Like they're the ones who inherited the throne and, and their husband is not the king. And like also, I know in Asian countries too, I think some of like if there was ever like a woman who became like like the ruler instead of empress, she would name herself emperor instead of empress. Um, so that kind of goes around with the same thing too. So I think we're just going to keep any of the husbands of the heirs of the female heirs to be prince or prince consort just because I like that better. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and keep that. Someone said suggestions for other families. San Maishuno, Japanese Royals, Strangerville, African Royals, Delso Valley, US Republic, Magic World, Evil Royals. Um, well, we already covered the whole magic thing. I don't think I'm going to do with US Republic because that is, doesn't really go with the royal family, um, so I don't think we're gonna go do that. Um, Strangerville, I would be happy to do a kingdom in Strangerville if someone can tell me how to get rid of the freaky zombie things, because as soon as I can do that, and and there's also, there's a mod that I'm probably gonna be doing a review on, it's called, I'm so sorry guys, there's something in my eye and I cannot get it out, so if I'm just like touching my eye throughout this, I apologize, but someone was saying, or there's a mod that like makes it look like it's historic, so I'll be doing a review on that, although they don't do that for Strangerville though, it doesn't work on Strangerville, so if, as soon as someone tells me how to get rid of Strangerville, how to get rid of the science lab and all the like, cur like modern stuff and then all the zombies, then I will do a kingdom in Strangerville because I don't know how to do that. And then for San Maishuno, I don't think I'm gonna do a kingdom in San Maishuno because it's just too, it's too modern. It's way too modern. And then while I'm on this, cause I haven't seen a comment about this, but I know people comment about this, about Newcrest. So the mod works on Newcrest, but it doesn't get rid of the houses, like the other background houses. It gets rid of the skylines, but not the other background houses. And the other background houses are like very like Southern Belle, Southern Charm houses, like something in Georgia during World War II. So like, I don't, I don't like it and I don't like that I can't be creative with those there. So I don't think we're gonna be using Newcrest for a kingdom just because of that and just because I feel like I don't have enough creativity in Newcrest, which I know is the whole point, but I feel like it's still very limiting. Um, so I don't think we're gonna really ever do a royal family in Newcrest because I wanna use it for like other lots too and like give it, like use it as a space where like all the royal families can kind of go without be it being its own world. I just like having its own land. Okay, I think, oh, oh, last thing, set up and room tour, please. So I did say when I first moved into this setup that I would do a setup and room Tour. I have not gotten the chance to do the things I want. I mean, it's it's not anything nice. I've got, right now I have my Mac in front of me and then I have my MSI over there. I have a light that like leans against my microphone stand because I need the light to like shine on me. And then I have this other like circular light right here that you guys can see too. Um, and then I have my camera stacked onto the shelf and then I have two boxes stacked onto that to get it to be the right height. So it's not anything pretty, you guys. Um, I wanted to do, like I have like two shelves, the photo bubbles up there, you guys can see like, this actually right here was a wall back here and this right here is our like electrical like plug switches that I had to hide because it's like, that's ugly. I don't want that in my video. So I put my backdrop there and this is actually our dresser right here. Um, so it's the side of our dresser and then I have like stuff on top of it. I'm not gonna show my room because it's a mess right now. Um, and we also had to get a new comforter because my dog threw up on it. Um, so it's not gonna be anything pretty for a while. So maybe when I move to LA, which is in a year and a half, but maybe by then I can do a nice tour for you guys. I'll probably, I might do a tour for here when our room is nice and pretty and our house isn't a mess, but it's a mess usually. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that soon too. But yeah, so just so you guys know, yeah, I have like my microphone is on a stand here and then the lights and then my laptop's in front of me. So it's not anything pretty. It's not 
not anything nice to see. But yeah, bye guys. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode, or not episode, I'm gonna end this video here. This was so much longer than I wanted it to be, so I apologize. I've been talking so much longer than I thought I would. Hopefully it's not as long after post editing. Um, but I hope this helped you guys. Let me know if it did in the comments below. I appreciate everyone participating in the community post that I post. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can go to my channel and click on the tab that says community and you can see these posts that I posted um, because I do want to keep posting stuff there, asking for suggestions for videos. I have questions for you guys too that I can just ask, which is just really, really nice. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope this helped. Let me know if it did. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button if it did because it actually does help me when you guys hit that like button because I know what content you guys like and I'll keep posting the content you guys like if you do that. So definitely do that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.